Hello friends, so we're gonna pick up straight where we left off in the last video. So you've gotten your tiles into the editor, now you made some buildings and you want to see the stuff in the game of course. So there's, um, well two things you need to do basically. You need to one, make a pack file out of your tiles and two, you need to put them into a mod which the game can then load. So, to make a pack file, I suggest doing this. You go to your tiles folder. I'm gonna throw it in there. And then, in my case, I created Diedrich's Tile Palooza Pack Maker. You can name it whatever you want, of course. And then in there, you throw all of your custom tiles that you want to have in the pack. If you're using my custom tiles, you don't need to do this stuff. That's done for you with the mod. Um, if you have your own custom tiles, you definitely want to do this. So you, even if you have just one tile, you have to throw it into a folder because that will make you able to do the next step. Because when you go to tools in Tilet, go to pack files and then create dot pack file. You're gonna select the location and name to save it as. In this case, I would say save it as my Diedrich style blues a pack or Diedrich style blues a dot pack file. Yes, I want to replace it. My shit's in Dutch, don't worry about it. And then down below here, you're gonna add a directory, which is gonna be in my case, the folder that I just mentioned you should make with your tiles in them. And if you select that folder, that's gonna be the folder it takes to create all the custom tiles from. You don't wanna just select a two times folder because all the vanilla tiles are in there as well and you don't want all of those in your pack. So far so good, right? So make a custom folder with your custom tiles and select those with this little plus icon. Then you hit OK. I'm not gonna hit OK at this moment because I changed some tiles and I don't wanna mess up my, uh, my pack, but you should hit OK. After you've done that, it should create a pack file. It should not have a Photoshop logo, but I uh, accidentally tried to open it in Photoshop, which doesn't work, but now it's, you know, the logo is stuck. You don't know how this works. Okay, to make this show up in game, we're gonna go to a, uh, the actual Zomboid folder on your computer, go to mods, and you're gonna copy the example mod. I will do it as well. I'm just gonna, uh, just copy is fine. In there, there should be a mod.info, a poster, and a media folder. Inside the media folder, I think it was inside the media folder, let me take a peek real quick. Yeah, you're gonna make a folder called texture packs. Let me go back, let me go back. Uh, yeah, there. So we're gonna create a new folder, texture packs. And in there, you will throw your tiles folder. So if I go too fast, I'm sorry. Remember the name of this. I'm going to hit F2 to rename it and just, you know, copy paste it or copy it so I can paste it. Then you go back to your initial folder for your mod, open the mod.info, which should look like this. Now what you're going to add is pack is with this name. That's it. That's all you need to add. What?